A little while ago I made a video showing me completing a few clearances. I've been requested by a few subscribers to make another one of those videos and this time to add some commentary to talk you through my thought process as well as some graphics showing the spin on the cue ball and shot lines etc. So in this first example we get a nice spread of the balls there and we put a red off the break. So the first thing with all of these clearances when you're going for a clearance you need to take your time then walking around the table and examining both sets of balls trying to work out which is going to give you the best chance of the clearance. Now both these sets are pretty good there's quite a lot of space around both sets of balls. The reds have got this one over on the right which is slightly tricky to get to and not got a great first shot on the reds so it looks as though I'm going to take the yellows on this occasion. So this first one I'm going to play through with top spin to run down to allow me to put this ball to the middle and then the following ball up the line. So this one needs to be played firm enough so that we make contact with the ball to the side but so that we don't get stuck behind it and then we'll be looking to play the ball up the rail. Now the one up the rail we should be stopping pretty much where the yellow itself is so that we can then play the yellow next to it back across to the top left hand corner. So plain ball shot not too hard because we're playing into a shallow angle into the top corner just roll that in and then we're nicely fairly straight on the one to the top corner. Now from here the only ball we can really get onto easily is this one down the bottom so just looking at the range of space that I need to play into to give me a nice shot on that so I'll play this with a little bit of top spin just follow through to give me a fairly nice line onto this one to the bottom. Now this is the key shot really to making this clearance I need to screw back from this shot um, to get on the one to the middle because we can't get that one at the bottom of of this ball um, and we need to be fairly straight if we're too low then we're going to be playing up the table if we're too high we're going to be stuck behind the reds so got a fairly small margin of error and we've almost ended up exactly straight which is perfect for where we want to be now from this one it's just a case of screwing back a few inches so just coming around just to check how far I can go back before I end up stuck behind the black so just working out the maximum I want to go to and then just pull back a few inches from there and that gives us a nice angle on this yellow. Now we could either play down into the bottom cushion and back up or or we could screw into the side cushion and give us a shot back to the middle. So I think we'll screw back into the side cushion come back across and leave us a nice simple straight-ish black to the middle pocket. So this time we've potted a yellow and a red off the break. Ball's fairly well spread. We've got a little cluster over this right hand side around the black where we've got quite a few reds and yellows getting in each other's way. Um, there's not really a great first shot on the yellows so it looks like it might need to be the reds. Um, this yellow in the, just to the right of the black is also slightly awkward so I think we'll take the reds. Um, and probably try and pop this one to the corner and try and just move a few of these reds above it a little bit just to make them a little bit easier. Now that shot hasn't quite worked out, didn't get enough screw back on it and flicked off it and come behind so it's not really changed very much. So it has left an opening to this red down to the bottom corner so we can take the opportunity to get that one out make a little bit of space and try and end up fairly straight on this red that's tied up behind the black. Now, it's a slightly awkward shot this, but we're going to go for the plant across the table. Um, the, uh, the red is fairly close to the middle pocket, so it's not too difficult to make and it's fairly straight. Um, we want to play this fairly gently because the, the red that we're using to plant the other one, we want it to end up pretty much where the other red is, so it's still easy to pot afterwards. So we don't want it too hard so it gets tied up against the cushion. So I played that nice and softly so it's now nice and easy to pot. Now we can take this one to the middle and we need to make sure that we end up low enough on the opposite red to make sure that we can then run up the table to get the final red because the final red needs to come down to this middle pocket to leave us on the black. So we've come down there nicely. Now we can play into this one and up the rail to give us a nice shot on the red back down to the middle pocket. And we haven't quite got into that one enough so falling up a bit short. Now the problem we've got here is we're now 
because we're not high enough if we can still pop this red to the middle pocket but then the white is going to be heading up the table might go into the yellow or it might go off the top cushion maybe get tied up behind the yellow so it's not great so it's a harder shot but what i'm going to go for here is go for the double across the table instead which will allow the white to come across and leave us a shot on the black so we've lined it up nice and steady we don't need to whack it roll that into the opposite pocket now we've got a shot in the black it's a long shot and the white's tied up a little bit on the cushion but at least we've got that shot that we probably wouldn't have got if we'd have tried to put it to the middle so make sure you've got plenty of chalk on the cue we're playing we're going to be playing with top spin because we've got no choice we're coming across the, the across the cushion just take your time lining the shot up nice and gentle and roll it into the bottom corner so in this final example, we don't get a very good break and come off the side of the first ball. And as a result, we don't get a very good spread of the balls. Now, ordinarily in a, in a match, I probably wouldn't go for the clearance in this situation because the balls aren't great. But as I was filming this, trying to make clearances, I thought I'd give it a go anyway. And we can have a look at how you can sometimes develop things. So I've taken the reds and not had a great first shot there. And so all I've really got left here is a long shot on this red down to the bottom corner. Now I'll try and play this with a bit of screw back to come back to then leave us on the next red across to the middle and hopefully then get down into these balls at the bottom. So I've done that nicely and left a, a nice angle to come down the table. Now we've got these balls all tied up around the black at the moment. So I want to end up here on, low on this bottom red so I can then play into them. And I've not played that very well at all, and I've ended up above the yellow. I wanted to be down further below it. So now I've got a really awkward situation. I can pop this red to the bottom corner, but I can't really get anywhere where I'm likely to have a shot on these reds or develop them in any way. So at best, all I'm thinking of doing here is just playing this, getting up the table, and then trying to leave us some sort of shot on this red over on the right hand side, possibly off another ball. So we'll play this with a little bit of screw back into the bottom cushion and back up. And then we've got to work out some way of developing what's left here. Not ideal at all. So I'm going to look at trying to play this red off the bottom yellow into the corner. So working out the angle that the ball is going to come off it and then try and get across into the other cluster of balls. Now we've got the ball into the bottom corner well, but unfortunately we've not really developed these. Now not a lot here at all so i'm just looking the red actually goes to that bottom corner but we can't get to it because the yellow's in the way so i'm going to look at playing off the first red into the second red not an easy shot at all i'm just checking there that by doing that i'm not going to plant the black into the corner and we've played it and it's worked out quite well um slightly lucky but you know we looked at the angles and worked out how to best play the shot and then we have left ourselves a fairly nice red up to the top and we can come down nicely onto the black at the bottom. So what started out as looking like a very awkward clearance, we still managed to find a way around it. Not the cleanest of clearances and um, like I said, probably wouldn't have gone for it in the first place. But just shows that you can, you know, if you a bit of imagination, you can find ways to pop balls and clear the table. If you want to see more practice routines and pool tutorials, then please remember to subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I use in this video, then there are links in the description below.